In this video, we are going to look into the ways of finding the unit digit of the given expression. What is a unit digit? While expressing a number by its place value, the number occupying the unit's place or the one's place is said to be the unit digits. In 24 and 123, the unit's place are occupied by 4 and 3, hence said to be the unit digits. Unit digits are generally the rightmost digit or the last digit of the given number. How to find the unit digit of the given expression? The unit digit of the given expression can be found by considering the unit digit of all the participating numbers. Here the unit digit of all the participating numbers are 3, 4, 6 and 8. Adding, we are getting 21. So the resultant will have 1 as the unit digit. Now in this example, the unit digit of all the participating numbers are 4, 8 and 7. 4, 8 and 7, the product will be 224. So the resultant will have 4 as the unit digit. How to find the unit digit of a number x when raised to a power n? When the given numbers ends with 0, 1, 5 and 6 as the unit digit, the resultant will have the same number as the unit digit. In the first example, the unit digit of the given expression is 6. So the resultant will also have 6 as the unit digit. Similarly, in the second example, the unit digit of the given expression is 5. Hence, the resultant will also have unit digit as 5. Finding the unit digit when the unit digit of the given expression ends with 4 or 9. In case of 4, when raised to an odd power, the unit digit of the resultant will be 4. When raised to even power, the unit digit will be 6. In case of 9, when raised to an odd power, the unit digit will be 9. In case of even power, the unit digit will be 1. In this example, 9 is raised to the power 56. 56 is an even power. So for even power, the resultant will have 1 as a unit digit. In this example, 4 is raised to the power 40. The 40 is an even number. For an even power, the unit digit of the resultant will be 6. Finding the unit digit of the numbers ending with 2, 3, 7 and 8. In this example of 3, it is visible that the powers of 3, the unit digit follows a cyclical pattern after every fourth power. This is called a cyclicity and we are going to apply this cyclicity concept to find the unit digit of the numbers ending with 2, 3, 7 and 8. In this example, 23 is raised to the power 37. So by applying the cyclicity concept, we are able to find the unit digit of the given expression. The cyclicity of 3 is 4. Hence, 37 when divided by 4, the remainder will be 1. So this is ideally equal to 3 power 1, which is equal to 3. So the resultant will have 3 as the unit digit. In this example, 7 is raised to the power 15. Again, the cyclicity of 7 is 4. When 50 is divided by 4, the remainder will be 2, which is equal to 7 square. 7 square is nothing but 49. So the unit digit of the resultant will be 9. There is an exception while finding the unit digit of the numbers ending with 2, 3, 7 and 8 using cyclicity concept. In this example, 2 is raised to the power 36. The cyclicity of 2 is 4. When 36 is divided by 4, the remainder is 0. Whenever the remainder is 0, it must be replaced by 4. So this is equal to 2 power 4, which is equal to 16. The unit digit of the resultant will be 6. Similarly, when 8 is raised to the power 52, the cyclicity of 8 is 4. 52 divided by 4, the remainder will be 0. When the remainder is 0, it must be replaced by 4. So this is equal to 8 power 4, which is equal to 4096. The unit digit of the resultant will be 6. And that is all about finding the unit digit of the given expression. Thank you.